welcome back everybody I had a request to do a uh, video on how to change the drive belt on the Honda HRX 217 model so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our gas cap is nice and tight and make sure our oil cap is nice and tight we'll disconnect our spark plug and we'll get it flipped up on its side it's a relatively easy thing to change the belt just like we did in the transmission video get you adjusted here uh, we're gonna have to take the blades off we're gonna have to take this lower cover off so let me get set up be right with you okay to do this I believe that's 14 millimeter I'm not sure what those are there's your drive belt right there I don't have a new one I was going to put a new one on but uh, they had to order it so your drive belt goes from this pulley up through there and you can see it right in there and it spins the transmission so I believe this is a 14 millimeter yes it is Put a little bit of lubricant on these bolts. I'm going to go to put them back in just so they don't get rusted. Set our blades aside. We don't have to take that off. We can if we want to. That also is a 14 millimeter. There's really, yeah, what the heck. We'll go ahead and take it off. Let me get it broke loose just a moment. Okay, what I've done is I just put the, the blades on. They're only on hand tight. We'll go ahead and we'll get that center bolt broke loose also. The reason I'm not taking it off right here at the center nut is because I don't know if that blade adapter is going to come off easily or not or if I'm going to have to get a little bit of persuasion on it like a three jaw puller or a pry bar. Yeah, looks like we'll have to get a, a puller on it. Let me grab one. Hold on. Let me move you over to the side here a little bit. Hopefully get our puller centered. Oh, and there it goes. All right, immediately we can work the pulley off by just, see if I can get a better angle for you, by just pushing it towards the back and rotating the engine. There, 
there. We've got that. Now we've got this. Don't forget your your key. One thing you notice, if you look very carefully, you got this cutout right around this bolt. Don't take that bolt out. You got a cutout right here. Don't take that bolt. Just get this bolt, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. These two go up into the engine. Get those worked loose. You might have to take a breaker bar. You might be able to do it with a socket only. I'm just going to take two bolts out right now to show you the difference. Okay, normally the bolts are about this big, they're small, but then you've got this bolt and this bolt. These are the ones that go through to the engine. Notice the difference. Remember where your engine bolts go. I'll bring them back when I get this cover off. Somebody made a comment they thought this mower was too cleaned. It gets a lot of use. All right, we've got this off now. Just got to work that out. Get this off. Now we're going to stand a little bit better chance because we got room to reach up in there. We got one more cover to get off right here. Once we get this cover off, we'll be able to get up in there and get that. Remember, we've got the hidden bolt right in there. Which is a 12 millimeter. And you got to have that cover off to get in here and hold the backing bolt. We took the wheel off because we've got a 10 millimeter bolt right there. We got to get that sleeve out. I don't know if I can get you guys to view that or not. There we go. Ah, welcome to the tabletop. Okay. Gonna wiggle that out. Get this pin. Just turning the mulch and bag lever. We get some needle nose pliers to pop that real quick. There we 
go. Now we've got access up into there to get the belt off. One of the easiest things you can do is just grab the spring, pull it, get tension on the belt, and now you can just rotate. Did you see that? You just rotate that back, disconnect your spring, take your belt off. <laughs> 